claw hammer playing. Would you want to talk about some of these different techniques and how you would describe your style versus sure. the, the straight up traditional style? Sure. I mean, I, I try to avoid labels for myself and others as much as I possibly can, but I guess if one were to put me in some kind of stylistic camp, it would be melodic claw hammer. But mm. that's not a style that I was really taught ever. When mm. Marianne was giving me that initial year of lessons, she was just kind of teaching me in a straight up sort of generic, and I don't mean that in a negative way, claw hammer style that would sound fine on its own and would fit into an old time jam, no problem. And then I was listening to a real cross section of claw hammer banjo approaches, but I didn't really know what was what. That was before the internet was much of a thing and certainly before mm -hmm. YouTube. I hadn't seen that many great old time banjo players in person. But uh, toward the end of my childhood in Minnesota, my parents took me to the Clifftop Festival in West Virginia, which is kind of old time music mecca. It's incredible and it's uh, the favorite thing, uh, my favorite thing in my musical life. I'm so anxious for it to get going again, hopefully later this summer. And suddenly, I wasn't the only person around doing what I did, and I could see what other players were doing to make these cool sounds. So I tried to absorb some different influences from those early Clifftop Festival experiences. I had a couple wonderful opportunities to have one-on-one, -on -one, uh, one-off lessons with great banjo players who happened to be passing through the Twin Cities performing at local festivals. And that gave me a little bit more insight to the breadth of the Clawhammer style. But I moved south uh, as soon as I could get free of childhood and family and all that. And I've been living in the southeast ever since in a few different locales, just trying to soak up as much as I can about different approaches to this instrument and about the various regional cultures that spawned these approaches. So I like to think that even though my style has evolved in a more melodic direction than many more traditional claw hammer players would have done, um, I'm doing that from the perspective of having learned some very traditional approaches to the instrument. I found myself paying much more attention to banjo players at the beginning of my journey than to fiddlers. These days, I learn more music from fiddlers than banjo players, and I'm using uh, my awareness of the landscape of the tunings and my toolbox of techniques to catch as much melody and rhythm from the fiddle as I can do on the wrong instrument. But I think if I had started my journey focused on the fiddle or another highly melodic instrument, um, the result would have been very different. I don't think that my playing would have wound up with a particularly rhythmic core, which I like to think it has, even while I'm trying to insert all of this melodic detail all over the place. I'm trying to not sacrifice the driving rhythm of the claw hammer style and the presence of the fifth string that I found so compelling from the moment that I first heard it. So. It's really the blending of these melodic and rhythmic influences, all of which have appealed to me in different ways, that I think makes my style a little bit different from others out there and maybe a little harder to categorize, too. Mm -hmm. 